Namaste everyone, welcome from Dhananjay Kumar in another video for raising intelligent kids. In the past, uh, I have made and you may have watched a number of videos dealing with what is the right thing to do, the best action, perfection in action, implications of your action, how to behave, etc. etc. But this one, this video is about how not to do what not to do and there are seven lessons to avoid number one don't do anything that hurts yourself don't hurt yourself physically mentally or hurting your plans or hurting your determination to learn and grow and do wonderful things don't do things that stops that that distracts you so don't hurt yourself physically or mentally. Second is don't hurt others. Others mean other than yourself, which can mean other people, other life forms, your environment, your nature, your community, your family. Don't hurt other people. And it can also mean that don't always ignore if you are in danger. If you see that some person or something is going to hurt you always protect yourself a ask for help something you know something wrong is happening just ignore it and move away from it don't get involved with some violent or negative people or putting you under wrong influence bringing wrong habits to you etc just avoid them don't be influenced by others don't hurt others but don't be influenced by wrong persons that you may come across the bullies the third thing to remember is how you value present and future suppose you get something small today but if you keep it you will miss something big tomorrow or next year so for big gain in the future, sometimes you may have to sacrifice small benefits today. I could give you an, lots of examples. Uh, suppose uh, somebody gives you, this experiment has been done, done with children, is some cookie jar or some chocolate or candy is put on the table and the scientists will ask, uh, either you can take one now or I will give you three after this class. So kids start thinking should I just take one now because the cookie looks so good I can eat it right now or maybe I'll get three just after half an hour. So these are kind of childish uh, examples but there are bigger examples that you'll come across in life that you can consider sacrificing something small if you are gaining something big in future. The fourth point to remember is don't be driven by ego. Don't act to protect your ego. Ego is the false self. You feel hurt if somebody said something wrong, somebody criticized you, somebody used wrong words or somebody said you are stupid or whatever. So just ignore it because you know you are not that that the other person is meaning to say. Have self-respect. Self-respect is more important than protecting your ego. So don't act just to protect your ego. Act to protect self-respect and if ego is under attack, ignore it, walk away from it, don't react. The fifth point is don't immediately act in response to something that has happened. Suppose something suddenly happened, some person got hurt in front of you, okay, you, you help immediately if you can. But if you don't know what to do to help, then immediately you will try to do something that may actually make the situation worse. So, Maintain self-control if you are especially reacting to 
criticism, take a few deep breaths, walk away from it, think about it. Chances are that you will not be doing anything, you will just ignore it. So, sudden impulsive action driven by emotion or insult, try to avoid that. You can easily make big mistakes that way. The sixth one is, never act when you are angry, frustrated, you are feeling bad about something. So chances are that when you act, you will not make a good decision. You will not act the right way. So under influence of negative thoughts, negative mind, under the influence of anger or frustration or you know, you feeling bad today and then you make a decision, chances are that you will not be able to understand and take into account all the factors, everything you need to know before you make the decision. Okay? So the last one is, don't ignore lessons of history. In other words, people, societies who have made mistakes in the past, you learn from it or learn from your own history. You did something last month to last year, you made a mistake, don't make the same mistake. So learn from the history and also don't ignore the teachings of the great sages and gurus who always mean to help in the welfare of the whole universe, including you. So if you have read the teachings of the great masters, great teachers, great gurus and sages and great role models, do not ignore it. Keep in mind, sometimes, somewhere, you will learn a certain lesson, you will remember and that will keep you out of trouble. So, these, so thank you for listening and we will certainly meet again.